Welcome back to Just Talking. We have a great special guest here for today. Uh, we have none other than Fuzz Martin, the president of the Wisconsin 9-11 Memorial and Education Center. Fuzz, nice to see you today. Thanks for having me. So let's start off. So then what is the 9-11 Memorial and Education Center and how did it get started? Sure, certainly. So the Wisconsin 9-11 Memorial and Education Center is an outdoor memorial dedicated to those who were killed on September 11th, 2001. It's located right off of US 45 in the village of Kewaskum, which is uh, just north of West Bend um, in the uh, in Washington County, Wisconsin. Um, and it is a uh, it's a beautiful memorial. It features a 2000 pound piece of steel from the North Tower of the World Trade Center. Uh, lots of uh, beautiful uh, stonework that is uh, built with a lot of symbolism and uh, it has a, a number of different learning stations to help uh, teach teach children about September 11th, also to help adults remember about uh, the events of September 11th, what happened. Um, and. Uh, you know, everybody always talks about never forgetting and, and those things. It really uh, helps to uh, teach us and, and remind us of the things that happened on those days and the coming together after uh, September 11th itself. So uh, each year we host a number of student field trips and, um, you, you know, senior groups and things like that that come to the memorial. And every year it starts to build and build and we get more and more uh, groups that come, and we've even started a, a field trip fund to help support uh, even more uh, students coming to the memorial. So it's been great, and uh, we really, it's really a gem in our community. Where did the, this all get started? Sure. So uh, Gordon Haberman is our uh, the one of the founders of the memorial. His daughter, Andrea, uh, worked for um, a brokerage firm in Chicago, she was on her first work trip to New York City uh, on September 11th, and unfortunately was in the North Tower when uh, uh, when the planes hit, and she didn't make it out. So uh, she grew up in Farmington, Wisconsin, went to Kewaskum High School, and so the reason that it is in Kewaskum is because she uh, grew up in that area, and uh, uh, Gordon and some other individuals from our community uh, who are very involved in uh, September 11th, um, it, there's there's a very tight-knit group of people who were directly affected by September 11th who, um, you know, meet each year. They're heavily involved. There's still trials and things that are going on with uh, some of the terrorists that were involved. and uh, But they worked together to get an artifact, which is that large piece of steel that we have, brought it to Wisconsin and um, built the memorial around that piece of steel. And, and that's really how it began. The memorial itself, it took a number of years to fundraise for it, but we finally got it up and built uh, in June of 2021. And it was uh, open and we had our first actual remembrance ceremony on the 20th anniversary of September 11th in 2021. That's amazing that you got that steel beam. Um... How did do you when they contacted to in New York? Do they have like a, a warehouse full of uh, remains? Yeah. Yes. It, uh, so the the New York Port Authority had a number of pieces that they would um, uh, take, and if they were being used as a, uh, they're they're very particular about who was able to get pieces of artifacts, and um, and so you had to work with um, either nonprofit organizations or arts councils, those kind of things in order to um, be authorized to have a piece of steel or an artifact. We have a, a rather large piece compared to some others, um, and it, they really are uh, pretty stringent on who gets what. Um, and so they, uh, they submitted their designs for what they were looking to do with it, and we got approval. And then it's it was a very uh, involved process of uh, we had to do a, a handoff where uh, the New York Port Authority brought it to the uh, the state line in New York, and then uh, there was a there was a very involved process of getting it here. Um, and actually, there's uh, two gentlemen that will be coming to speak to us uh, for our September 11th event that we have this year, uh, Ronaldo Vega and Mike Kenny, uh, who are very involved in the, that process, and um, they really helped make this all go through so um but we yeah it was it was very 
very involved, a lot of people involved with it, but Gordon Haberman, uh, it, our, our founder, he was very persistent, made it happen. And then through fundraising, a lot of support from our community and uh, businesses and individuals, we were able to make it work. Well, I definitely want to attend this event and uh, I have not seen it, but I've just seen pictures and I'd like to just kind of highlight some of the uh, architecture. I mean, it's just stunning on what it, because the beam I think is is sitting on like the Twin Towers or, or a sculpture over there. Yeah, yes, exactly. So the beam itself is pointed toward New York City. It's uh, sitting on like a trident kind of uh, piece of, uh, it, it looks like the uh, the pillar or the, uh, structures that would hold some of the base of the Twin Towers. Um, it's sitting on top of a Pentagon shaped um, structure. And then each of the points of the Pentagon points to a different learning station that we have in the memorial. So we have a flight path map that shows each of the different uh, where the, each of the different planes took off and where they ultimately crashed. We have a statue called the Ascension, which was carved by one of the uh, or an artist in New York City. Uh, we have a learning station dedicated to the ground workers and those who um, helped to do the recovery and also talks about all the victims of the uh, of the um, terrorist attacks. Then we have a Twin Tower uh, trellis, which has the two, uh, representative of the Twin Towers. And then we have a learning station, which, or I'm sorry, a, uh, a teaching podium, which has kind of a trident base that looks like um, the bottom of the Twin Tower area. It's like a podium. And then that's where we teach a lot of the kids where they sit. There's kind of a rotunda area. And then around the memorial itself, um, you know, every every little piece was thought of um, and was very particular. Our path around is uh, red granite, the, the um, state rock. Uh, we have what's called the survivor tree, which so uh, when uh, when the towers fell, there was a tree that was found kind of mangled and uh, burnt. Um, and a number of people, including Ronaldo, Ve Ronaldo Vega, one of our speakers this year, um, saw the tree. They helped uh, get it out of the World Trade Center Plaza. Um, they brought it to a nursery where they nursed it back to health. And now we have one of the seedlings from that tree. It's now back in the World Trade Center Plaza. Um, but we help, uh, they nursed it back to health. We have a seedling from that in, at our, uh, memorial and it's, it's really cool. It's very symbolic and to have a piece of something living that was, you know, a, uh, kind of a, you know, grown from something at the world trade center grounds is, uh, is pretty amazing. So, um, uh, it's, it's really beautiful. It's hard to describe without being there. Um, we get it's being right on highway 45 it, we get a lot of people that come each day and it's it's very moving to see people experience it for the first time oh absolutely and you can just tell everything is just done so you know a lot of uh planning went into this as well was it just the architecture form or were there other people involved what would you say the team would consider? sure yeah it yes we uh we used a, a landscape architecture firm we also had um a uh, one of our board members is an architect and he um, also went to Kewaskum High School. Um, he was very heavily involved with the design and, and um, architecture uh, from the beginning. So that was, they were all, um, they knew going in that they wanted it to be uh, built with purpose and to be timeless in the last, you know, in the last. So that's the event that's coming up. Sure. So um, what's going to be there, the time, the place? Let's hear all, all about the details of the 9-11 uh, event. Sure. So the event takes place on Wednesday, September 11th at 1 p.m. And again, it'll be at the Wisconsin 9-11 Memorial and Education Center, which is 1308 Fond du Lac Avenue in Kewaskum, uh, which is Highway 45. The event takes place at 1 o'clock. Uh, like I said, we have Ronaldo Vega uh, speaking and Ronaldo was a part of the 9-11 disaster and recovery team at Ground Zero. Um, he was also the senior design, uh, director of design for the National 9-11 Memorial and Museum in New York. So if you've seen that uh, National 9-11 Memorial and Museum, he was uh, the senior designer and uh, director of design for that. Um, and then Mike Kenny was also on the 9-11 disaster and rescue team uh, at Ground Zero. 
He was also a project executive for the New York City Department of Design and Construction, uh, very big in helping families that were affected by Superstorm Storm Sandy. Uh, if you remember uh, that big storm that happened a number of years ago, uh, helped to uh, restore um, families. Uh, uh, there were over 150,000 uh, families affected that, uh, by that storm, and he helped uh, get them back up and running. He's also testified before Congress to help um, those who worked in the recovery at Ground Zero to get health care. Uh, they've experienced a higher instance of cancers and other respiratory diseases because of the um, the dust and the different particles down at ground zero. Um, and so uh, he's testified before Congress to help give them more uh, health care and more benefits. So uh, they're both very compelling speakers. It's going to be a great event. Absolutely. Because like you said, there's when, when that happened in 9-11, afterwards was never forget. And over time, a lot of exposure might go down, but at least this memorializes it and just is is definitely going to be a powerful event to go to. So I'll definitely check that out. Mm -hmm. um, and also, well, I would think that also not only in the Wisconsin area, but she might get visitors that maybe had ties with uh, the victims of the 9-11 families and, and see that as well. Yeah, we get visitors that come from out of state, across the state that, that have heard about it and want to come and visit. There's the uh, the National 9-11 Museum has a directory, and, and there are some families who are affected that go and make it a point to travel to all the different wow. museums, and uh, and they, they, they'll they check in and let us know when they've stopped. Um, and it, it's, you know, it's very meaningful with that because this affected all Americans. It affected the whole world, obviously, but the to have that place where people can go and remember, we've got, you know, it's, it's a... Uh, it, there's benches all around you can sit and and reflect and to have that there for people i think is is important that's wonderful because we may take it for granted that we lived through it but there's now a generation coming in that didn't and that yeah. needs to learn about what happened oh. exactly i mean my my daughter i have a nine-year-old daughter uh her uh, last year's school teacher was 10 years old when september 11th happened so you know as the Kids get older. Uh, I mean, as the kid, you know, the new new kids get younger. Um, their their teachers are also getting younger, so uh, they may not have experienced that firsthand either. So, uh, providing them with the resources to be able to teach that is important as well. So, one last plug for the event: uh, the time and the date. Yep, uh, the time is, or the date is Wednesday, September eleventh, twenty twenty four, and the time is one p.m at the Wisconsin 9-11 Memorial and Education Center on Fond du Lac Avenue in Kewaska. And, you know, maybe I should bring that up, too. For those who haven't been to Kewaska, maybe can you give uh, a little bit about Kewaska, the area? Because maybe people after the memorial may see what, what Kewaska is all about. Yeah, absolutely. So Kewaska is a, a beautiful town in the north edge of Washington County. Uh, it is the next town north of uh, West Bend. Uh, we have a ton. It's the gateway to the Kettle Moraine. We have a ton of uh, outdoor uh, recreation. We've got uh, the Eisenbahn Trail that runs through town. We've got some great parks, including the uh, Kiwanis and Regal Park and uh, Riverside Park. Um, we have uh, a ton of great stuff going on right now. We, uh, we, we're going through some road construction, but once that gets done, we've got uh, uh, the library is, uh, we just moved the library into a new building and the uh, new village hall and police stations going up right now. So lot, lots of good stuff going on. Uh, great restaurants. I recommend checking out El Pig's Butt and uh, uh, Chatters. Those are some, uh, some good restaurants in town and the coffee corners right next to the memorial if you stop in there. So, um, and it, it's a nice cozy uh, town about 4,500 people and uh, great, uh, great place to raise a family. So, uh, great schools, good place to go. Sounds good. I'll definitely have to check that out. And if people want more information about the 9 11 Memorial and Education Center, is there a website or social media or anything? Yep, it is Wisconsin911memorial.com will be uh, the place to go. And um, so just uh, pretty long URL, but just type it all out, wisconsin911memorial.com. Okay. 
Well, Fuzz Martin, I want to thank you so much for uh, talking to us today. We've got a great event coming up in Boston, and thank you so much for talking to us today. Yeah, thanks so much for having us on. Appreciate it.